Okay, we are on to our third role for our parts, right? Those IFS, doing the IFS work, the inner child work, the parts work, right? So our third part are our firefighters. These firefighters, they sound like they'd be really helpful, right? We tend to idolize firefighters in our world, especially if you're in the Western world. The firefighters, again, like the protectors, have a very misguided way of helping us out. In fact, sometimes a very unhelpful and dangerous way. So let's say we are in a situation where we want to put ourselves out there to get into a healthy relationship, right? A really good relationship. But the, but we remember that we're not good enough, right? Our little exiled parts remember we're not good enough from when they were little. Nobody will love us because whatever your parent, parents, caregivers did taught you to feel that you're not good enough. So now you have these like inner critic parts that say things to you like, you're too fat to get a partner. You don't deserve a partner. You don't deserve somebody that loves you. You're not good enough. You need to work harder. You need to go do this, that, and the other. You ever deal with that in your head, right? Challenging you. And again, I'm just giving one example, but you take your own situation where, you know, your brain goes into that or you put things off or whatever. You go into distractions, but you try to challenge it, you a little bit. You, you, you push to yourself, no, I'm going to do this. And then all of a sudden... You go into these periods where you've started to get some awareness of what's going on in the background of your mind. Then we go into panic attacks. We go into extreme anxiety, depression, sometimes even ideation, right? These things. That's the firefighters. They are coming in because now the protectors have been pushed a little bit or the managers have been pushed a little bit. Maybe they were even open to it for a minute, but it means, all that really means is that we are trying to change what our brain perceives as safe and good and possible for us. And our brain is like, no, 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 everything's on fire, put out the fire and the, and the firefighter's like, okay, here's some panic attacks or some ideation for you. That'll stop you, right? Cause then you gotta deal with that. Not the most helpful, but again, misguided and this is what they do. So how do we work with that? Well, we have to start building up some resourcing skills and learn how to do this work very slowly and effectively, which means working with somebody that knows how to do this work. So make sure you're following for this. Also, in case you want someone that can help you with this work, this is literally what I do with my clients. So reach out. I have self-paced programs. I have one-on-one -on -one work, group work for this. I got all the work for you to help you do this especially if you feel overwhelmed with just trying to do it on your own. So make sure you're following and, you know, ask, ask away if you want some help.